Hey, what's up guys? Back again with another video in the Spigot series. This episode I'll be teaching you how to make scoreboards with Spigot. So right now we're on Hypixel where we can see a scoreboard right here, this little thing. And uh, yeah, you've probably seen this in a lot of servers that you've played on, if you play on servers. And um, it can display information like your score, um, anything really, you can display anything up here, right? So that's what I'll be teaching in this episode, how to make one of these. So that whenever you make cool plugins, you can make them even cooler by having a scoreboard with it, okay? Um, so let's get right into it. What I want to do here is go to, I made a project here, and um, I already created a command. It's called open scoreboard command, and I registered it, and it's slash sb to execute it, and then I put in the plugin yml, okay? So that's already set. So if we want to create a scoreboard, all we need to do is first get the manager. So scoreboard manager so we have to create a new object of scoreboard manager so manager we'll call it is equal to and then we do bucket dot get uh yeah get scoreboard manager so that's going to get the scoreboard manager and with the manager obviously we can manage different scoreboards so we can go ahead and create a scoreboard here by doing manager dot get new scoreboard but we have to put that into a scoreboard object right because if you do control q here it says that it returns a scoreboard right um so we'll do scoreboard, scoreboard, um, we'll call it um, scoreboard, that's fine, <laughs> is equal to manager.get new scoreboard, okay? So that's going to get the new scoreboard for us. So now what we need to do is create an objective, which is going to represent the category or what the scoreboard is going to be about, basically, okay? But it's also the title of the scoreboard. So if we go back to Hypixel, we can see a title up here. That's the objective. So once we set the objective, we can also set a display name, and that's just going to be the title up here. And we can use chat colors and all that fun stuff like we normally can. So let's create an objective. So to create an objective, all we got to do is declare a new objective object here. So objective, object, oops, not object, objective, object. Okay, there we go. I can spell. There we go. And we'll call this objective, obviously, is equal to new, or not new, it's going to be scoreboard, scoreboard dot register new objective, okay? And if we do control P, we can see that we have three overloaded objectives here. And one of them is actually deprecated because it has a slash in the middle of it, or it, it's crossed out, I mean. So that means that um, you shouldn't use it anymore because in the future versions of this API, it's not going to exist anymore. So you want to adopt the new way to do it, which is going to be these other two. Uh, parameters here. So um, the first thing is asking for is a name, which is going to be it can be named anything. It's just a string, so it can be the name of the category. So um, we're just going to call this uh, test, or we can just call it title. No, we're just call it test because it act, like I said, it doesn't matter what you name it. And so the next thing after that is going to be the criteria. And there's a bunch of preset criteria that you can use. It's preset. Um, you can find the different criteria. I'll leave that in the description for you. There's a list there. So if you don't want to use any of the preset criteria and you just want to make a uh, custom scoreboard, all you got to do is do dummy. That stands for, you know, dummy. It's just, a, I don't know why they called it that, but that's what you do whenever you create a custom scoreboard. And the next thing we need is the display name. Like I said, that's going to be what is displayed. Uh, oh, wait, we're AFK now, it looks like. So that's what's going to be displayed up here. Like prototype, we can call this whatever we want, though. So we want to make a display name. Um, We'll call it chat. Well, first let's make a color for it. So chat color blue, and we're gonna say uh, scoreboard title because that's actually what it is, right? So there we go. Um, so that's gonna do that. But of course, if you were gonna use the uh, the deprecated way, where you have with where you only have two parameters, then you would do objective dot set display name like that. Okay, that's what that's what you would do normally. But since we're gonna do the new way you know, where it's not deprecated, that's how we're going to do it, okay? So that does most of the work for us, all in one line, but one more thing we need to do whenever we're creating our objective is tell the objective where the scoreboard is going to be placed on our screen. So the one that we're going to be doing is a sidebar scoreboard because it's a, it appears here on the sidebar, right? But there's another type of scoreboard you can do um, in the, uh, uh, what's called, the tab list here, you, can, you know, whenever you press tab, you can put one up here, which we might work with in the future, but there's another way to do it, and then finally the last way is to have a, um, a scoreboard under the player's name which is something you might see here or on a player at least okay so um, that's what we're gonna do we're gonna set it to sidebar so objective dot set display slot dis and that's a um, that's an enumeration it looks like so we do display dot display slot um, and then sidebar dot sidebar just like that so that's gonna set the slot equal to sidebar for us and then after that now we can actually create you know the stuff that appears under the scoreboard under the title I mean like all this stuff here that's the important stuff so the way we do that is by creating um, lines. So one line would be equal to a score object. So that's going to represent one line of the scoreboard. Okay. So for example, if we go back yet again, we can see that games in this lobby 
11, that's one line, okay? And it's on the 11th line, okay? So that's how that works. So score, and we're going to call this score, is equal to objective dot get score and then inside of here we can type whatever is going to be displayed on that line so it can be a color it can be anything we can add colors I mean but it can be anything it wants a, it wants a string though if you do control P it says um, not null string right so um, let's make something random so we'll do like money so we'll just tell the player how much money they have I guess so check color gold plus money and then we'll have a dollar sign here and then plus chat color dot green plus one and the one is going to represent how much money they have you'll see how that looks in a second and the reason we can use a one it is asking for a string right but the reason we can use a one along with this is because if you know anything about concatenation you can uh, if you add numbers to a string that's going to concatenate it so this becomes a string also technically okay hopefully that makes sense so yeah once you create a line of text that you want to display on the scoreboard you have to tell it what line to put it on so we can see that we have these numbers here 12 11 10 9 8 7 and it does not matter what number it actually ends up on so since this is our first line of text it doesn't matter what you know number we set it to so score dot set score and then it wants an integer right so we can just do let's try doing uh, three so it's gonna set the line to three and that does not mean anything again because of course we don't have any other line so you'll see what that looks like in a second but um, the higher the number, the higher up on the scoreboard is going to be. So the lower the number, the lower the line of text is going to be on the scoreboard, as you can see here, because I'm AFK again. But as you can see here, um, at the very bottom is 1, but at the very top is 12, okay? So that's how that works. You're just setting the line of the scoreboard. And so now what we need to do is go ahead and, you know, open the scoreboard for the player, you know, display the scoreboard on the player screen. So we do player. Oh, we don't have a player object yet, so we could do that. So player player or just have to p is equal to player sender just like that so we could simply do p dot uh, set scoreboard and then we just pass in the scoreboard object which is scoreboard from right up here right okay so that's going to set the scoreboard that we just created on the player screen so now that should work for us and whenever they run this command of course so now let's build this and i'll see you in the server all right so we're on the server now so let's reload Oops, reload. Ignore what I have on the side here. I was just playing around with scoreboards earlier, so that's why it looks so crazy. So if you want to test out our command, we could do slash SB, and there we go. So we get scoreboard title, which, which is exactly what we set the objective title to be. And then we have our line here, which is going to be line 3, obviously, because we set it to be line 3. And then we have money, uh, and then dollar sign 1. Okay, pretty cool. So that's awesome, right? Pretty simple. I know the, the language used in this scoreboard is kind of confusing because you have objective, you have scoreboard, scoreboard manager. I know that's a little confusing. That's a, That was confusing for me at least. So yeah, it's pretty simple whenever you get it figured out. So if you want to make another score, for example, another line of text, we could do score. And I'm going to call this one S2 is equal to objective dot get score. And we're going to call this second line. Um, let's just gonna make, let's make a blank line, okay? And then let's make another line of text after that. So score S3 is equal to objective objective dot get score. And what we're going to have on this line is going to be a link, I guess, because some um, servers like to have a, um, a link to their website. So we could do that if we want to. So chat color dot purple. We'll do dark purple. And then now we can put a link in here. Make sure that it's under, like, um, I forgot how many, but you have to stay under a certain amount of characters if you're going to use this. So uh, make sure it's, it's under that, okay? But uh, in the future, we'll be working with um, animated scoreboards, so it doesn't matter how long the line of text is because we're, we're going to allow the scoreboard to, to shift the text, basically. You'll see in the future episodes, but yeah, keep in mind whenever you're making a simple scoreboard how much uh, how many characters of text you're using for these strings here, okay? Anyway, so let's make our link here. So you, uh, we'll do Google dot com okay so that's the link we want to display on the screen so before we actually test this out of course we need to set the line for the for the uh um the the text right so we could do s2 dot set score and we're going to set the blank one equal to two and then the bottom is going to be s3 dot uh set score and one because that's going to be the bottom line of text right so the lower it is the you know you know the lower on the scoreboard is going to be okay so we need a semicolon right here so let's test this out see what it looks like so build build artifacts, build just like that, wrong thing, so reload here, okay, SP, and there we go, so we get scoreboard title on line 3, we have money still, and then after that we have 2, line 2 is going to be blank, because of course we made a blank line in our in our code, and then finally on the bottom line, line 1 is going to be our link here, right, pretty cool, so yeah, that's how you create a simple scoreboard, there's a lot of cool things we could do with scoreboards that I'll be showing you in future episodes, like, um, 
maybe we could create a scoreboard that every time a player breaks a block it'll update the scoreboard and show how many blocks they've broken something like that maybe or you can display you know anything really like i said animated scoreboards too that's a that's a good one so yeah just stay tuned i'll be showing you how to do more stuff with scoreboards in the future and if you have any questions about what i showed you today you can ask in the comment section below or you can join our discord server we have about 350 people in our discord currently so uh yeah, make sure you join that, ask questions, you know, get some new friends, whatever. And then if you want to leave a suggestion on this video, you could do that too. Um, go to just join the Discord server and then leave a suggestion in the suggestions channel, okay? And then all of the code for today's episode is going to be in the description below, so make sure you check that out as well. Bookmark it for future use. In case you forget how to work with scoreboards, you can just come right back to it, okay? Anyway, that's about it. If you want to support this channel, you can click the join button below this video, and then you could donate and be a member for a certain amount of money per month. Whatever you want to do, it's your choice. I'll love you forever if you do or do not do it but anyway so we actually have a new member his name is hyperburger so uh welcome him to the channel membership so make sure you join if you want to be shouted out in the video also okay so if you like this video leave a like if you want to see more subscribe and peace